Welcome to this training module where I will be showing you how Halsbury's laws can help to find an answer to a legal scenario. The fictitious scenario that we are looking at today is Moira is walking to work via a footbridge over a railway track. As she crosses, she sees that the level crossing beneath has its barriers up. The mechanism for lowering the barriers has broken and Moira sees that a train is approaching. A car crosses the tracks and there is a serious accident resulting in many fatalities. Moira is unharmed physically but suffers nervous shock. It is found that the crossing failed due to the operator's negligence in maintaining it. Does Moira have a claim against the operator? Let's begin by entering Halsbury's Laws on Lexis Library. You may find Halsbury's in your bookshelf, but if you don't see it there, you can find it via the commentary tab. To search Halsbury's Laws, you can select the search option in the bookshelf. Enter your search tab. Here, a key phrase is nervous shock. Your results can be sorted by relevance or by source order, depending on your preferences. You can sort results in the top left corner here. We'll sort by relevance. Take a look at your results. Here we have 15. The first one looks like it could help, so we'll click through. Here we can see the Halsbury's Laws paragraph. It shows the paragraph text on the left and the notes in the right hand pane. The right hand pane here is automatically opened because the first instance of our search term appears in the footnote. You can close the right hand pane, which reveals the location box telling you where you are in Halsbury's Laws. Another way of finding your location within Halsbury's Laws is to open the table of contents on the left side. To reopen the notes, click the notes icon here. The paragraph has been updated to account for legal development since the title was issued, as indicated by the update button. To review the updates, click the update button. The update section includes a new case in this area. The paragraph describes the duty of care owed by a defendant in relation to a horrific event, including limiting factors where the claimant is a witness to the event. You can see that the paragraph text is characterised by a series of propositions or statements. If you want to see the authority for a proposition, this is found in the notes pane. You can scroll through the notes pane or to skip down to the authority you are interested in, you can click on the note marker. Also review the notes as footnotes beneath the paragraph text by clicking the footnotes button. You can reopen the notes pane by clicking the notes button to the right of the paragraph text or by clicking a note marker in the paragraph text. To review the authority, which is a case here, click on the citation. To go back to the Halsbury paragraph, click the back button. You may want to see the context of the paragraph by seeing the whole subpart or part of the negligence title within which the paragraph sits. Here, it could be useful to see some background to negligence law generally, so click view whole, one, nature of negligence. Let's go back so we can see just our original paragraph. If we remove the notes pane, we can see the legal terms box sitting just above the location box. You may want to check the meaning of the term nervous shock. Expand the box here and we see that the term nervous shock is listed. Clicking nervous shock gives you a concise definition. You can expand the information here by clicking see full definition, which takes you into Lexis Navigator. This gives you the key cases, the key commentary, precedents and expert definitions from Halsbury's principles. It also gives you practical guidance from Lexis PSL. Clicking into one of these links will open a new tab into the Lexis PSL service. Now it's over to you. How would you advise Moira? What are the factors which cause a duty of care to arise in a horrific event? And what is the bearing of the limitations to the scope of that duty on Moira's case? 